I'm here for a new uh, premium cooking class. Mm, today we, we are going to make a fresh and made pasta. Doesn't need a machine. That is a, a, a thing that many of you ask me during these days because uh, uh, sometimes people have not a machine or another, another tool. So I'm so happy to be with you and to make something just by hand. And pasta is uh, wonderful when you make it by hand and you don't use many tools. This is my cooking school. During the year we, mm, we run here cooking classes. We are near Lucca in Tuscany. And uh, you can come here even on holiday, but not in this period, as you know, because, because of the virus. Uh, now the things in Italy are much better, but uh, I know that from abroad it's difficult to come here. And uh, so we can, uh, we can start uh, our cooking, we can start our dish and to make our pasta. And uh, I'd like to know, you, uh, to know um, who is online and uh, I'd like to tell you that uh, I, even when this broadcast is done, I um, make it on here and I answer all your questions. So don't be shy, please do not hesitate. Uh, ask your questions. I, I obviously answer to everyone even when the broadcast is done. So now it's okay, but even after because I continuously uh, stay watching the broadcast and if you are curious about something or some tips or some tricks about our recipes. And um, so if you are online, I don't know because I have my computer and I try to see if the if the um, if the uh, streaming is done. Uh, anyway, um, if you are there, please inform me that you are here. Uh, say hello so I can see that uh, someone there is, and uh, then we can uh, we can start without uh, without problem. Okay. Eccoci qua. Perfect. Okay, ciao Gloria. I see there is Gloria, that is my friend, and this is, uh, this is very good. And ciao Rachel. Uh, and I'm, I'm happy that you are going to try with me. Uh, a thing that I'd like to tell you is that there is a, a, a Ginevra that is after um, over the, the phone on the other side of this room. So if you have to have some questions that I am working that I can't see the messages, she can help me and she uh, she tell me everything that uh, that you need. Ciao Terry, e ciao Kelly. Oh, I'm so e Daddy, I'm so I'm so happy that that all my friends are here. Eh? Many of them, bene, benissimo. So guys, so at this point we can go and we can start. I tell you that if you are going to make this with me, you know that when we are making pasta it's not so easy to stay together. So maybe I suggest you to stay with me and after when you think that there is some dead times, you can leave, you can watch and after you can make again because it's difficult to real time to make this. So we start making fresh handmade pasta, doesn't need a machine, and there is a surprise, it's a colored pasta. So we are going to make some pink uh, bow ties, farfalle, butterfly is the name, is the Italian name. So let's go with the flower. You know, this is the simula flower that we use also the last time when we make trophies, if you remember. And in this case, you have all the ingredients, you have the procedure during the video and all the ingredients. And in this case, I use this because it's difficult for me to tell you the grams and after to convert. So we use this. This is a disposable glass, it's a plastic one. And we put here, for two people, two of these glasses. In this way, so we arrive to the first stripe. This 
bit more. Okay. And since we are not using eggs, but we are using water, usually the size is double and one, two and one. So two glasses, one of water. But we have to see, because now we have also to add the tomato paste to give the color. So maybe we can use maybe less or maybe some more water. So we keep our water in a style, but I like to show you that we are going to use the tomato paste. We usually make it in August here in Italy. Usually the size is one tablespoon each glass, so each 100 grams, each three ounces. So this is one, guys. Can you see? We go with this. And we go with another. We put there, don't worry. We make, tieni Ginevra che si vedono, we make here like a small hole and we start pouring our water, just flour and water, just a bit and I start using my hands. So in this way, very, very slowly, but trying to melt everything inside the flour. Huh? So, when you see that there are many crumbles, you can go again with some water don't use all the water because after we can always use more flour so you can just remember to have a glass just to consider a glass like a, 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 a kind of a, a point of view that you have there huh? Here again, so we remember that usually, since we use it, the tomato paste, we should not use all the water, but we can't know this because the, the kind of wet in the water depends on many, many factors and variables like the weather, the wet in the air, don't forget that now, here, is a very bad wet, bad weather and wet. So today is very gray and I'm so afraid it is stormy because if it comes some storm here, I'm afraid that our screaming go away. So guys, at this point, we have amalgamated, we go over our pastry board and we can go starting like for the trophy. So we go with this part of the hand, that is the pole, and then we go ahead opening our fingers. We go ahead opening our fingers. This to give a texture, a consistency, that will be more than is possible homogeneous. Depending on the tomato paste, you can have a lot of color. They can be orange, you can have also bow tie pink, and remember that you can make a lot of kinds of color of pasta because pasta can be also fuchsia, purple, if you use, for example, beetroot. So, 
you know that you have to work by hand, it's better if you work this at least five minutes. We are on streaming and this is not possible, otherwise I get you boring and after you go away. <laughs> but remember to work this at least five minutes when you make this. If you touch and you see that it's too much wet, you can have some flour again. <laughs> Color it. Yes, Michael. How are you, Michael? Okay. And at this point, we can put this in our bag. And we set that apart. Because you know, pasta has to rest to take the elasticity. It doesn't, do, it doesn't rise because there is not the yeast. But it, it needs to rest to take elasticity. If you leave pasta at least 15 minutes, but 20 or 30 minutes is better. If you want to make now with me to try the shape of the bow tie, okay, let, let's go. We are using so few flowers and then you can make your own in a better way after. So no problem in, a, in a, any way. Dimmi pure, tanto io ti... Dimmi pure, eh, Ginevra. Ok, guys, so, now we leave our pasta to, to rest here, and meantime, we can, let's start with our sauce. The sauce for this pasta is the zucchini and shrimps. Uh, zucchini, now in Tuscany, are very seasonal veggie. And... Uh, I just leave these here that are the courgette, the zucchini flower, because now here in Tuscany these are seasonal and very fresh and you can find a lot. It's the right season for this. So what I suggest you for the sauce is to take fresh shrimps, but if you haven't, like in this case, because this morning was a very bad weather, so they haven't fresh shrimps, but just frozen, you can also buy the frozen one. But I recommend you to have a very good quality, otherwise it doesn't give the right flavor. I already chopped some zucchini, so uh, we, don't, uh, we don't lose so much time to cut but we have to use in general uh, medium size for zucchini for two people if the zucchini are like mine that are not so big you can use six of these so at this point i want to show you this is very big leek that is a uh, um, um, what I told you to think but to take but you can also take some uh, fresh onion fresh garlic don't worry to use this or another one just uh, what I want to tell you is use just or onion or garlic here in Italy usually we don't use together onion and garlic but we decide what to use because each kind has a different flavor every every kind is very good for this recipe but we have to respect uh, the recipe i already here when the green start in this case as i told you this is very big so i don't think that i use uh, uh, all the part of the leek huh? because this is very big So to clean the leek we cut this part in this way and we take off just the external surface. Then we go under the water and we put the water here inside this part that we see is very clean anyway.
Okay. You can cut now coarsely. Don't worry, as I made for the zucchini. Because after I tell you that there are two possibilities. You can leave everything in the pan, but you can also whisk. So, up to you to decide. Mm, they, it comes to two different kinds of uh, sauce, but very good one. As I told you, this is very big. So it's not necessary to use the, each part, every part for two people. Huh? And we go to put this in the pan. As you know that uh, I often make this cold pan and cold extra virgin oil. So we cover the bottom with some squeeze because this uh, bottle is not so generous in oil. Okay, then that one maybe is better. At this point, we wait, it comes a, a bit soft. You know what we have to do when we put some onion uh, or, um, or lick on the fire to, um, to make that it's soft? We use some salt, because as I told you for the, the sauce of trophy, the salt is hygroscopic and take off all the water of, uh, from the veggie. So, we are going to use some salt. You can also use coarse salt, the rock one, the big one. So we use this to make it a bit soft. While he's taken softly, we use the half part of the half glass of white wine. In this way, just not have a flame, not, not from there, just in this way, to give some water to this Lake. And we go to take our zucchini. Here in Tuscany, zucchini are very small because they come directly from the garden. Huh? So this is the trick to cut zucchini. You can cut in half for them. And you can go in this way. You have not to, to cut this part of your finger. Huh? There is lorry. So you are sure you don't have something dangerous. Huh? And we go on our plate together with the other two zucchini. We take another, always small. I don't use the flour because I don't know if you bow it, if you bought it. But if you have, you can use. No problem because it's very good. Just uh, suggest you don't use the flour for a long time cooking, just very short cooking. And if you have some questions, guys, and here Ginevra can read and can tell me everything you need. Eh?
so go but not so fast eh? so you are sure that your fingers and don't worry about to the size because after we decide what we can to do what we can do pardon now you can't smell but I tell you that now the flavor of the wine is no more in the air when the flavor of the wine is no more in the air you can have your zucchini but before to have the zucchini I suggest you if you have some herbs sweet like fresh oregano this is fresh oregano from my garden or peppermint this is the peppermint from my garden or both if you have basil you can add also basil if you have thyme you can add thyme so all the herbs that you have you can put here in this way I show you we, we are going not to cut the herbs the herbs are already of course we take off the fire the herbs are not are already washed and cleaned and for the peppermint you have to make this with your hand with your fingers like for the basil you remember at this point that we have everything almost brown we can have our zucchini just coarsely chopped I just recommend you don't use rosemary because rosemary cooking a lot it can't bitter it gives a bitter flavor to everything so now we had some mm, small part of salt at the start if you remember at this point we can add more salt and I use coarse salt like this but you can use uh, the salt that you prefer even the fine one I show you this quantity this is like one teaspoon so two pinch and a half and now we are going to add the other part of the wine We have a large, very large pan for two people. In my opinion, this is even too much large, but it's just so you can watch very well what we what we are doing. Huh? Then we can add some pepper. I love pepper, so I use a bit. And now we can smell the flavor of the white wine that is a strong flavor now okay io non vedo commenti qui va bene importa ti continua oh maybe i can see i can see your oh uh, okay ah uh, I say hello to all of you that you are a lot. Okay, uh, uh, Rachel, the, the, the leaves um, have to be brown, but even if you have just translucent are okay. It's important that they don't burn too much and they will be a bit soft, okay? Now, in the same pan where we have our zucchini flowers we had um, we take sorry um, a lid because we want they cook with the steam so we don't add 
water at the moment and we cover with this lid. I'll show you. We go minimum fire, so low fire, and we live here for a very, very few times. After this, zucchini will be crisp, mm, crunchy, but not, uh, and not boiled, but very flavored. That what I go to see. Oh, yeah, Teddy said, uh, uh, ask me if you can use spinach. Yes, of course. Is it is there another kind of recipe to use spinach? I just recommend you to use the fresh ones because with the fresh one, you you are going to make a very good recipe with the fresh shrimps and fresh spinach. The, the small one, the first part. Perfetto. Don't forget your pasta, eh? So I take I take something from here so we can after go to make pasta. And as you can see, we are not using shrimps. Shrimps only at the end. They have not to cook, just few seconds because uh, it's very fast and quick, the cooking of shrimps. I pray you, don't cook, don't overcook, never shrimps. Perfetto. At this point, I show you there is some liquid here. Prego, prego, venite, venite. So you, are, you see there is this liquid that is full in flavor. So they are cooking very slowly and with, a, with, their, uh, with them steam. Mm? We have to decide if uh, now you can go with two options. You can whisk all the zucchini and then season the pasta with the shrimps or you can uh, leave this here and you can flip the pasta directly in the pan. I usually uh, make the second option because I like the texture of a zucchini in my mouth. Anyway, um, this time we can, we can try to uh, whisk some of them. Mm? So we, we whisk some of zucchini, not not all, so we, we make a mix of these uh, recipes. I'm sure you like very much this recipe, I'm sure. So you see, everything we are going to make is very fast. Which on? fire we're going to put some of our zucchini and leaves and our herbs here so we leave yanigini we leave some of this there some here and some in this glass we go with our immersion blender, but if you have a blender, no problem. Hope that Rachel is okay now, eh? and everyone who is making this with me. Tell me if you are okay, if you need something. Sorry the noise. to this some cooking water from the pasta. I recommend you will add some water but from the pot when there will be the pasta, not before. Because with the pasta the water will take all the starch and after we'll add some starch right here. Before I go to taste 
the flavor is okay, it's not too much salty, and it's good. At this point, we go ahead with our bow ties. Okay, guys? We have our sauce that is waiting us. The fire is off. We have our puree, so we have not half and half, this is more. And we go with the bow ties. Look at me that I show you how to make them. Everyone is okay? Bene, Silvia, thank you. Good for now, perfetto. Holly, you have to come here. <laughs> Grandi. If you, if you come here, I'm sure we we'll really enjoy it very much. And if you like, uh, mm, I recommend you uh, guys to share and to tag someone who can be interested in watching this, even after. Tag your friends, share. This is uh, it's very good for everyone. So we go with our pasta. I want to show you the pasta after sometimes that it rests. Look, look the finger, it go down. Okay guys, so uh, you have to, to see if your fingers are okay with the pasta. You uh, try to touch the pasta and if you mm, feel that it's uh, elastic, uh, this is very good because it means that the pasta um, has uh, rested the right time and it took uh, elasticity. At this point I'd like to cut this in two parts so you can make with me guys and I suggest you to make like a snack, snake like the other time for trophy remember? but not thin this time, just in this way. Look at me, look at me the size, look at the size, okay? Perfetto. Now, we are going with the rolling pin and try to make something longer, so the goal is to have a rectangular that is longer. I show you the right side. And stretch. Remember when you make pasta to stretch uh, in the last part of the pasta. Eh? Because this is the more elastic and it comes, it comes <laughs> again, a stretch. So if you leave it to rest 20 minutes, it's always better. But we can go even in this way, don't worry. We are making our stream class and we have to understand how to make farfalle. We go in the house, in, in my case, because I have a too short pasty board. very elastic, I'm surprised, I'm happy for this. And I go again and we try to stretch. So I show you the how it has to be thick. That it has to be thin. This is very thin. Now we go with the other. So I show you how to make in the best way, huh, guys? Stretch, stretch, and along. Perfetto. We take the wheeler. That is the smooth one, because we have two wheeler. The first one, I don't, I don't know, I think it, uh, the name is this, and the smooth one. With the smooth one, we try to have a rectangle. Please, now look at me that I show you the right way to make this uh, 
size of the uh, bow tie that is four centimeters and three centimeters so is one dot six inch for one dot four inch i show you you look my hand so you you see how it can be the right size eh? This is very bold and it's going a bit. So we go in the center. And now we use this to have the rectangular small one. So in this way, in this way, hope you, everyone see if you one come here in Ginevra I go to the lights go see so you are sure they are small and nice bow ties okay now I show you the right movement to make them. And first, I go to take to show you. I told you to take some bowl with uh, some water because uh, I not in my case because there is a wet I, as I, I told you in the air. But you can uh, use this so we we are sure they stick together. I show you. How to make the bow tie? I show you the right movement. Is to go with the long side in, then you go external and press in the center in this way, and you have your bow tie. But I show you again, of course. Eh? You go in the center and then you press in this way tell me if you can see guarda vieni pure qui Gini che così faccio vedere sulla tavola so first you go inside then you go external but you press in the center in this way So, in this way, and you press, they are really fresh, so if you wait 20 minutes to rest pasta, you are sure that will be easier. Vedete? Oh, bene. Jean Virginia tell me that he, she can see. Thank you, Ginevra, that you are making this... Uh, Film, you can put there, okay, and we go again, so here in the center, then we press under. When you have, what I told you about the water is that when you have your pasta that is rested for 20 minutes, maybe you can have a pasta a bit dry so you can use a finger with the water you can put some water in the center of your pasta so you are sure that when you make this movement everything stick but this is not our problem because pasta is very fresh so there is no reason to take water in this, in this moment. I want to show you again. Go outside and pinch. 
la again inside outside and pinch very nice these are small mignon beautiful everyone understood how to make this there is some problem can i explain you better there is a thank you holly holly say me it looks great grazie holly grazie mille tell me if there is a, something that i can make for you if you have a, a problem to fold rachel everyone is okay gloria it's okay so you go inside then you go external and pinch next time maybe we can make another kind of pasta that is more difficult than this this is a this is not so difficult but i want you understand well how to make this and tell me if you want to um, if you want to have a, a pasta color it next time maybe in another color Tell me without problem because we can make a lot of shape, eh? you know. <laughs> we, you know that the pasta in, in Tuscany can be often be brown because in Tuscany we put cocoa, chocolate in pasta, and we hit this with the uh, games, with wild boar, with uh, uh, rabbit, wild rabbit. Okay guys, perfetto, grandi, benissimo. So if for everyone it's okay, I go for the sauce because uh, uh, farfalle are, uh, are ready and we can go to this with the sauce so we can hand our shrimps after, okay? Perfect. We switch off the fire. So the, the bow tie are for two people, but I want you to watch how many water I have in the pot. It's not so small amount, it's a lot. Eh? So this is the, the, the pot and this is the water. More water you have, better is when you cook pasta. Pasta needs lots of water. We put the salt in this, the right amount is this one coarse salt. If you use the fine salt, you put one full teaspoon. And guys, if you have questions, I'm here. Huh? Okay. <laughs> the, this uh, kind of pasta and sauce is very uh, simple. I'm happy because you can um, understand how making in a very few minutes when you are hurried, when you are at home, uh, you come back from work and you can jump some zucchini flour, leaves and shrimps, it's very easy and fast. Anyway, I just go to have this not so cold, but anyway, I want to to wait the water is boiling because uh, the, when you cook the fresh pasta the minutes are very few so we have a three four minutes maximum no no problem to have a, a long cooking with uh, fresh homemade pasta it's very fast and it's delicious the flavor so someone asked me if we can make with spinach but you can make with any mm, with many kind of uh, other veggies with the shrimps, another thing that is delicious are the asparagus. So like the risotto with asparagus. Okay, now it's hot, so now we can turn off the fire. I want to adjust it. It was not so cold. 
And as I told you, with the asparagus, shrimps are very good and you can make also a risotto with, with, uh, with shrimps and uh, asparagus. These are the combination, the combo that uh, here in Tuscany, uh, first of all, we use for making pasta during this period. And the uh, flowers mm, are very good, even fried. And uh, uh, these in Italy mm, are filled with ri uh, ricotta or with mozzarella and uh, one anchovy and then you put in the pastella that is a batter like uh, uh, water uh, with gas and flour and when you fry directly and you have something that filled with uh, ricotta or mozzarella and anchovy and they are delicious if you want we can make a stream about how making uh, flowers if you like this kind of a recipe mm. Okay, Rachel, if, you, uh, if the farfalle is not important that you leave them to rest, but the doughs, so the doughs that you make at the start, um, you can leave to rest 20 minutes. So if you leave to rest 20 minutes, 20, also 30 minutes is perfect. Because this is the time for the perfect uh, taking of elasticity for the pasta dose. So, uh, no problem uh, if you live at, at least um, this time. You have uh, no problem. If you are very good, if you are skilled, you can have also pasta after 10 minutes, you can directly make farfalle. But farfalle, when they are shaped, you can put directly in the water. It doesn't mention, you, if you want, you can dry them, if you want, you can uh, freeze them. So um, once that you made, no problem to, uh, um, to preserve, even in the freezer or in the, if you dry open air with something over maybe. I show you how to put inside the water the bow tie. This a And the cooking is very fast, as I told you. But I want to show you the, the time which they have to be seasoned. And as you can see, the shrimps are always there. We can put some salt and oil if you want, just before putting in the Pan, like in this case, some oil over, just one tablespoon, some black pepper over the shrimps. So they take the, the flavor. Of oil and pepper. And we can wait the, the bow ties are cooking. Another thing that I want to tell you is uh, it's not necessary to wait they come up because this is for gnocchi, as I told you even in the other recipe. Eh? So you have two, three times of boiling always when you cook with uh, fresh pasta. 
and be sure that the flavor is not so different from the white pasta with the colored pasta. For example, in this case that we have tomato paste. It's very nice, nice. You can have also tagliatelle, red or pink tagliatelle. You can have a lot of kind of colored pasta. Um, even uh, black, black tagliatelle, they are made with squid, squid ink. And they are delicious with seafood, seafood, fantastic. Jean Virginia is asking, is asking me if I, ha if I let to dry uh, the pasta before uh, putting in the water. No, Virginia, you have not to dry pasta. You have to dry pasta only if you, have, uh, if you want to save pasta for the next day until five days. So you when you make fresh pasta, you can leave room temperature until five days but before you have to dry so you put in a tray very distance one piece from the other like this boot ties you see one is there one is there so i'm sure there is a cotton under and i'm sure they or a paper and i'm sure they will dry so if you want to save you have to dry but if you are making pasta to heat you can directly put fresh pasta in the water and is better so that's why when you when you take a cooking class in Tuscany for example and you make fresh pasta is much better than when you make uh, uh, when you go to your restaurant because many restaurants can cook with fresh pasta but they make pasta in the month in the morning or the day after or the day before or two days before and so is uh, dry the pasta that they put in the water and it's good but it's better if, if it's fresh like this soft because it has all the flavor immediately together with the pasta so now they are boiling as you can see a characteristic of a fresh pasta is that the pasta the water comes out this is always what, uh, what happens when you are making fresh pasta. Because there is a lot of starch there, and so the starch gives a lot of bubbles and it comes out. But no problem because, as my granny often said, who does something, know the trick. And so I put the lid to, to cook the pasta in a few times and this is what happened, but no problem. Now we have pasta with water, so we have starch. At this point, since we have starch, we can add our water here. We take one little chip, so we are sure two people, two ladles. This is very easy to understand and to remember, pardon. As you can see, it's very fast because it's boiling just for from one minute maybe. I want to show you the right color. So the color is a, a bit pale now because it's changing color because when the pasta is cooked is mm, is lighter. It's a different color. It's not so dark like when you put in the water. So this is the trick is a trick to know. Rachel, my sauce doesn't look right. No, you, I puree half and left half raw top. I'm sure it tastes delicious too. Mm. Rachel, I'm sure. Uh, why are you saying it, it doesn't look? I, I'm sure it will be delicious. Um, if you make these uh, steps, I'm sure your sauce will be, will be perfect, dear. So, Rachel, listen to me. Now we put this on the fire, not so big fire, huh? Mettiamo questo che è più piccolo. Look at me. This is an important step. So, we are, we are here with this. We go with a strainer. We take our bow tie because now we know that this is no more cold. This is not cold now. Eh? It's warm. Remember, uh, I I switch on the, the fire before. So we take our bow ties. 
and we put in the pan. You can listen the noise, guys. Huh? Look at the color. You can also make bow tie with the salmon. So zucchini and salmon instead of zucchini and shrimps. But here in, in Tuscany, in Italy, is very, is a recipe not so original. Eh? So we flip this here, and at this point, we have our shrimps. This is the time, remember? So, guys, girls. Zucchini, bow ties. Now we put these that are raw. We just mix a bit. Then we go with our puree. Look the color because it's, uh, it's gorgeous. Okay. Now the temperature is down because the puree was not so hot but warm, okay? It, it take again the fire. And so we count one minute, maybe, maybe one minute. We, here, when it boils again, come so you can hear with it. Now it's boiling again. So, from when it boils again, we just mix one time and we switch off immediately the fire. point everything is ready you can smell this but the flavor the, this is very the smell is very good guys now I just put this here to show you the plate and uh, <laughs> this is very good hope you have a plate a nice plate and don't put so much pasta because after you have your pasta I have more than you because I made this for three four people and um, so I'm I'm very happy to have to make this with you and if you need Questions, if you need answers, tell me, I'm here for you. Grazie, Gloria. Thank you, Gloria. Gloria say that, is, uh, that it looks delicious. I, I'm sure it is very good because this is one of my favorite kind of pasta and uh, I'm sure you understood how to make the bow ties. If, tell me if you need something because I can show you everything now oh okay judy judy try it i'm sure that if you try this tonight you will not disappoint rachel if you cook it if you already cook it and tasted it let me know i'm so curious <laughs> about your sauce but remember girls you can make all the sauce like i did when we are in a restaurant we often make a sauce whisking something in a blender but if you are at home and you don't want, it's very good even just with zucchini, coarsely chopped, with no problem. So guys, no problem if you don't want to whisk, because maybe you risk it. it is too much liquid. Oh, grande Holly, okay. E Kelly, looks amazing, can't wait for... Grazie Kelly, grazie mille e grazie anche Holly. I, I want your uh, feedback or in the group uh, Dolce Vita uh, in Tuscany Food and Treats 
or uh, here in this page uh, under the, the, the stream. Uh, don't forget to, to share with, uh, with everyone and uh, um, you can uh, hit that uh, button and so everyone can see and tag someone that you want can watch this. And uh, give me your ideas if you want to make something that you like, we can make, but everything that we are going to make very simple and fast because we can't have dead times when we have a screen. And I like to make with you something without uh, bringing um, something already done, but like we made Farfalle um, and Bowtie tonight together. So uh, if you have ideas, I'm here. Okay, prego. You're welcome, Holly. Everyone is, uh, is very welcome and uh, so guys, I hope to meet you next time on Thursday. On Monday I tell you the recipe and on Wednesday after the ingredients on Monday on Wednesday I tell you the tools and uh, hope that we are going to with a new recipe that you like. Let me know when you are here, let me see you uh, because I'm so happy when there are many people that look and that watch this and that can uh, give me the, the, the force to go ahead, okay? Allora ciao! Grazie di tutto. Ciao ciao.